Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to model game assets in Blender. This is part 5 and today we're going to model a crate. This is the finished model and as always I designed this so we can follow along very easily. First of all add a cube to your scene by pressing shift A, go to mesh, then cube and head right into edit mode by pressing the tab key. Now press the I key twice to inset these faces and move your mouse to set the scale. Now press E to extrude and select it, then scale it down with the S key. In the side view and in X-ray mode by pressing Alt Z Select these two faces, the front and the back one, and scale these faces up in Y and Z. Here in X and Z. And here in X and Y. Now press A to select everything, press U and select Unwrap. Now go to Shading and create a new material for your object by pressing plus New. Add an Image Texture node by pressing Shift A, go to Texture, then Image Texture and connect it to the base color of your shader. Now open the Planks texture. I will provide a download link in the description below. And as you can see, we have to work on the UV a bit more. So go to UV editing and start selecting faces. And in UV editing, you can now scale and move these faces. You can move them by pressing the G key. You can scale them up or down by pressing S and you can rotate them with the R key. For the sides I select these two faces here and then I rotate them 90 degrees and scale them up. Repeat this step until you've you re-edited all these faces. Now only these small faces here are left. You can simply select them and press U to unwrap and Place them on your texture. Now to work on the material a bit more, duplicate the image texture by pressing Shift D and open the roughness map. Then connect it to the roughness input of your shader. Remember the roughness map, the normal map and the height map have to be non-color data for them to work properly. Now open the height map and the normal map. And for them to work we have to add some nodes. So add a bump node and connect it to the normal of your shader. And connect your height map to the height 
now add a normal map node and connect it to the normal of the bump node. And now you can connect your normal map to the color input of your normal map node. Now I'll go back to modeling and in object mode add another cube by pressing shift A, go to mesh then cube and start scaling it down by pressing the S key and moving it up by pressing G then Z. Scale it down in the X axis by pressing S for scale then X and rotate it by 45 degrees by pressing R, 45, Z, and Enter. We don't need these faces here, so you can select them, then press X to delete and choose faces. Press G to move it down, then Shift D to duplicate this object and rotate it around the Z axis 90 degrees, by pressing R to rotate, then Z for the axis, then 90 and enter. Now in edit mode you can add some loop cuts by pressing command and R. By moving your mouse you can slide them into place. Now in edit mode by pressing the tab key you can select these three faces here and delete them by pressing X then go to faces. By selecting four vertices then pressing the F key you can fill in a face here. Now go to shading and select one of the materials that you already created. And as for the crate, you can now in edit mode select the different faces and lay them out in UV editing. By moving them around press the G key, scaling them with the S key or rotate them with the R key. Back into modeling, select these two objects, duplicate them by pressing Shift D, then rotate them around the X axis by 180 degrees. Then press the G key to move and Z to move in Z direction. Select this plank, set your transformation pivot point to 3D cursor and rotate it 90 degrees around the X axis. Now duplicate this object and rotate it around the Z axis 
by 90 degrees. Now in object mode, you can add a plane to your scene by pressing Shift A, then go to Mesh, then Plane. And move it and scale it so it will fit on the surface of the crate. In shading, create a new material by pressing plus new and add an image texture to your shader by pressing shift A, go to texture, then image texture. Now open a label. I will provide some of the label textures in the description below. I want to give this label a bit of a weathered effect, so we have to work on the material a bit more. Add a transparent shader node and a mix shader. Place the mix shader node between the BSDF shader and your output node. Now create a noise texture by pressing Shift A, go to texture, then noise texture, and connect this to the factory input of your mix shader. As always, to have more control, add a color ramp in between the noise texture and the mix shader. Now, if we are choosing the Cycles Render Engine, we can see that these black spots are now transparent. If you want to create this look for the EV Render Engine, just watch the letter set video and I will show you how you can achieve this in EV. By adjusting the noise texture node and the color ramp, you can set up the weathering effect as you like. Now you can select this label and by pressing Shift D you can duplicate it and place it on the surface of the crate anywhere you want. You 
in shading by pressing the little 2, the number next to the material's name. We can set it to a single user. And by doing so, you can keep the material as it is and just change the image texture. Alright, this is the crate done. And now it's time for you to create your own. And if you like, you can show me your work. And get featured in future videos. You can send me your artwork via Twitter or Instagram. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification button to keep yourself updated on new videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching and have fun creating!